Hi, I'm Dan Rosenstark with MIDI Designer and in this video I'm going to show you the iRig Blueboard and uh, two possible integrations with MIDI Designer and later we'll talk about some of its limits and uh, what kinds of integrations might be possible later. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open the Blueboard app. So I've got the Blueboard app open here and I turn on the Blueboard. So it's got a switch in the back turn on the blue board and now the app says tap here to connect your blue board so I do that it sees my blue board uh, via Bluetooth note this has to be an iPad Air or an iPhone 5, 5S, there, there are some restrictions because it's using Bluetooth LT. Now, right now, when it starts up, it's in program change mode. And program change mode is useful for us, but in this case, we're not going to use it. We're going to go into menu, settings, and change it to control change. Now, everything else is by default, except we're going to change the channels. So we're going to change the channel to use uh, channel 14 here. And that's the only change we're going to make. I switch to MIDI Designer Pro. And here I've got a blank slate. And the first thing we notice is that by default, when I tap any of the buttons, they actually are lighting up the LED in the top right of MIDI Designer. So I know that at least I'm connected. So if I go into more, config, and connections, here I see the blue board is right there. Now this presents the first really cool option for integration is send your data out through the Wi-Fi connections or through any other connection uh, using MIDI through. So uh, this is a new feature in 160. Um, I just press the through button here that's next to the blue board. It turns blue and now all the data that's coming in is going out through um, all my ports and if I go into the log I can actually see evidence of this it says sending to session one etc that's the first possibility for integration and now we're going to talk about another possibility for integration and that's to use the uh, iRig Blueboard as a pager in MIDI Designer so um, the first thing that I'm going to need to do is I'm going to set up one button and we'll see the problem develop as we go and we'll, we'll solve the problem as we continue. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go into design mode and I'm going to add a button and uh, I'm just going to hide the label. This is going to be an up button, however, and it's going to be mapped to this B button here. So um, I'm going to change the type to a page up button and I'm going to go into MIDI learn and I'm just going to press the B button and the learn button bounces and shuts off so we know it's learned it and now let's just make sure this works so that works for one shot of course now we're off the page so what we're going to do is we're going to need to bring this down to the pedal board so that it's always there regardless of what page we're on so I go into more config uh, I'm going to shut off the MIDI through there. Pedal boards. And by default, reveal pedal board with swipe is off. I'm going to turn it on only in design mode. So now, uh, when I'm in design mode, I can swipe up and reveal the left pedal board. And now I'm going to put this button down here. And now I can page up. But as you notice, it only goes up with the off because this is a toggle instead of a momentary and we're expecting a momentary in MIDI Designer no problem we're gonna work around this we're just gonna create another button I'm actually gonna take this one and I'm going to do a make similar of this and this button is the same it's also a page up it's also gonna be listening to the same control so that's changed because it ought, MIDI Designer will automatically give it a unique CC so I go to learn again, press the control again. Okay, so it's learned, it's 14.1. Now the only change that I'm going to make to this is I'm going to change the MIDI off on to be inverted. So it's 127.0. So I invert the range to that, hit apply, exit, and now I've got a page up. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the page down so you can see the process. So I'm just going to create a new button here.
and I'm going to um, hide the label and I'm going to make this a page down button and in the MIDI uh, properties I'm going to learn and I'm going to learn the A button and now I've got this now when I exit out of design mode this will work but only when it shuts off so I need one more of these go into more design double tap on this do a make similar and now this one is going to have the same MIDI channel CC okay and the MIDI off on is going to be inverted so I do apply exit design mode and now I've got page down and page up now I'm just going to add uh, another page here and add another page and one more so now I've got six pages total and I'm also going to hide the left pedal board by just sliding down and now without looking at my pages uh, sorry without looking at the pedal board at all I've got a page up and I've got a page down so if I press B it goes up if I press A it goes down now we could do the exact same thing for the other side and we would have complete control to be able to move around almost our entire rig from the blue board without any problem. Of course, we could sacrifice either of these two buttons or either of these two buttons uh, for a bank up, and then we could be able to move between all uh, eight times six pages or whatever number of pages we have within MIDI Designer from the blue board without touching the screen. That's a pretty useful thing. It's a pretty big advantage to have, and it's probably the main thing that you'd want to do if you had only four external buttons on your pedal board which is what the blue board has. Um, now what we are hoping for in the future, we think that this is mostly in the app, is we'd love to have uh, momentary controls on the pedal board, and we think that that's definitely possible. And we'd also love to have bi-directional control, which we have certain indications from working with the blue board that that's possible. So, um, and that it would only be a modification of the app and not the blue board itself. So that's our hope and we'll see how this changes going forward and hopefully we'll update the video. Thanks for your questions, for your feedback, for all the positive stuff on MIDI Designer and uh, please get in touch via more config actions, email us. Thanks for watching and thanks for checking out MIDI Designer and the iRig Blueboard. Smile because biofeedback.